In this video, I'd like to introduce the normal distribution. The normal distribution is a continuous bell-shaped distribution of a random variable x. The graph of the distribution is normal. The mean is located at the center. Some of the key properties of the normal distribution is that, first of all, the mean, median, and mode are they're all equal and they're all located at the center. The mean is denoted using the Greek letter mu. Half of the data lies to the left, the other half lies to the right, thus it's the median. And the value with the highest frequency is right above the mean, so it's also the mode. Also, the graph is symmetric on both sides of the mean. Thus, we, if we were to cut the distribution down the center, we would have two equal pieces. And this will play a role later on when we perform certain computations involving the distribution. The ends of the distribution never touch the x-axis. And then finally, the total area, meaning the amount of space under the curve, is always equal to 1. Some examples of variables that are normal would be heights, weights, exam or quiz scores, IQ, other types of measurements. However, before using the normal distribution, verify that the variable is normally distributed. We will use areas under the normal distribution to represent probabilities. In order to look up these areas, we use a special version of the normal distribution. Um, this version is called the standard normal distribution. So it is a normal distribution, but the mean is equal to zero and the standard deviation is equal to one. Also, all the values on the horizontal axis are labeled Z values. So these are the clues that we're working with the standard normal distribution. And it is this distribution that we will use to find areas under the curb via table E. Thanks uh, for watching the video.